Despite what you might hear in the functional and nutritional medicine industry, there's really no such thing as type 3 diabetes, kind of. The way it's discussed in the functional medicine industry is kind of this brain type 3 diabetes, or that Alzheimer's is really type 3 diabetes of the brain, or it's insulin resistance of the brain. And it has to do with a number of really interesting scientific papers that have been talked about for the past decade or so, that the brain might handle glucose or insulin a little bit differently, or there's some kind of metabolic overlap between uh, Alzheimer's and type 2 diabetes. It's an interesting hypothesis for sure. However, it's not an official diagnosis. There is, however, actual clinical type 3 diabetes. In fact, there's a number of different types. It's basically a catch-all for anything that's not type 1 or type 2 diabetes. For example, there's a type 3C diabetes, and this is a pancreatogenic form of diabetes, where the pancreas isn't doing well, most commonly due to chronic pancreatitis. And they might present themselves a little bit differently than a standard type 2 diabetic. For example, if the pancreas isn't doing very well, it's not going to make much insulin. They'll tend to have low insulin and or C-peptide on a lap. They also tend to have low glucagon, which is very different than most type 2 diabetics. This is going to cause typically more pronounced hypoglycemic episodes than a type 2 diabetic. Also, because the pancreas isn't doing very well, they might have low pancreatic exocrine digestive enzyme deficiency, leading to things like diarrhea and or steatorrhea or fat in the stool. Finally, they tend to need insulin more soon after their diagnosis of diabetes than does a typical type 2 diabetic. So how do you know if you have somebody that has this? They might be normal weight or underweight because they're not digesting or absorbing things very well. They might be somewhat malnourished, but also you can run a fecal elastase 1 to find out if that's low. And if it is, you might be looking at an actual type 3C diagnosis for diabetes. So bottom line, Type 3 diabetes, interesting hypothesis as it pertains to Alzheimer's, but doesn't officially exist as an official diagnosis. There are official clinical type 3 diagnosis uh, for diabetes of a variety of different causes. I hope you found this video helpful and God bless.